Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma Lou Stevens, and I forgot to create an intro for this video. So today I'm going to be showing you how I create a springtime cut crease. I hope you enjoy. Use this Urban Decay Shadow Proof Priming Potion. It's the purple one. Purple, purple, purple. Okay, so I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit onto my finger. I find with this product, a little really does go a long way. Also try not to get this stuff onto your lower lash lid or onto your eyelashes because it will screw them up. Not screw them up, but it will like really not be okay. So then I'm just going to take this concealer brush from Morphe and I'm gonna take the white powder and then Urban Decay Naked 3 palette I'm gonna pat that onto my lid. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Primaria, primarily. Actually, I'm only gonna be using this palette today. The Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. Mine's really gross, please do not judge. Okay, so I'm gonna take a big fluffy, fluffy brush from Morphe. Twill. I'm going to take the color Liar. How fitting. And I'm going to just kind of Dust this into my crease. Doo -doo -doo. I'm doing a cut crease today. But you guys are gonna be very like, what the hell, you're going outside of the box. I know. So we're gonna literally, for a cut crease, you're just gonna keep this shot. And I'm just gonna keep swiping this back and forth. I'm trying to avoid my lid at all possible from here to in. So just, yep. Do you see it? I, please, just turn down the volume if you don't want to hear me sputter about nonsense. I'm putting a little bit on the outer edge, just because we do want to have a little bit of color on the outside, because we will be keeping that as part of the crease, part of the cut crease. <laughs> okay, so taking the same brush, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of, I'm gonna go away going in with a little bit of Nooner. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm going to be taking a little bit of the shade Nooner, which is right here, on the same fluffy brush. And I'm going to just kind of go over that. I'm blending it as far up as I want to, because I can always blend it away if I want to. You know? Heck yeah! <laughs> Okay, I don't really do cut creases that often. I've never done one on my channel before, so this is, you know, it's a learning experience, kind of. So then I'm going to soften this, look up, I'm going to take that concealer brush that I used at the beginning, and a little bit of Limit, that color, and I'm just going to kind of go over it to blend it a little bit. I do want it to look soft and pretty. So next I'm going to go in with the shade Factory on a pencil brush. This one is from BS Mall, which is what I, I got it off of Amazon. So again, okay, so Factory and a pen pencil brush in the shade Factory. I'm just gonna dip in there, just like I'm barely dipping in there. Dip, dip. And I'm going to just kind of define my crease a little bit with this. I'm literally just kind of lightly dragging it upwards to draw my crease. Now you want to make sure you get it into this outer little corner area. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe fluffy brush that I have been using, and I'm gonna dip a little bit back into Liar, and I'm just going to kind of blend that upwards a little bit. I'm really trying as hard as I can not to get any color onto my lid at all. So yeah, I'm trying to make her well-rounded. <laughs> okay, so let me do the other side quickly. So I'm going to be taking this angled synthetic brush. It's very flat. It's very teeny tiny. Like tiny. Look how 
it is. Okay, sorry. And my Revlon concealer. And I'm gonna take this off there like that. And I'm gonna kind of just scrape it into the back of my hand so that you can like, yeah, it's all like one glob. Okay, and then I'm gonna, oh, I just got that all over my pants. They're actually my mom's pants, so she's gonna be annoyed at me. Sorry if you're watching this, mom. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the product. I want to saturate both sides of the brush, but like not so saturated that it's gonna like go everywhere. See, I just kind of, okay. And then I'm gonna kind of carve out my crease area or my lid. I'm gonna keep This isn't something you just want to like swipe at one time. You want to be able to have control. This is coming from me, the person who's always like, ah, it's fine, just kind of do it. This is like the one thing I'm like, no, but really you should probably try to. I'm gonna kind of pat it with my finger. Okay, so then, taking this concealer brush, I don't know who it's by, and then going back in with a little bit of Stranger by Urban Decay. Is it Stranger? Yes, I thought it was Stalker for a second. I was like, um. I'm gonna just pat that over that to set it. Okay, so now that I have both eyes cut out, <laughs> kind of, an... I'm gonna go back in with this pencil brush. I just got that on my chin, and a little bit more of Factory, and a little bit of massage. No, mugshot. I'm just gonna kind of tap, and then I'm gonna go over here and kind of blur out this line a little bit. And I'm gonna go back and kind of touch up this little line that I drew up here. And then I'm gonna blend it back out with this fluffy brush again from Morphe. This is the wrong one. Brush from Morphe. Trying again not to get on the lid. Yeah. Let's do this, peeps. Oh, party people. Okay, Doo -doo -doo. all right, so next I'm actually not going to use only this palette. I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible um, eyeshadow in Ice Latte. Let me show you the color. I can't really, hold on, let me swatch this baby. If you've never seen this before, they're like very pigmented. And like a very shiny, which I love. Okay, so I'm gonna use this kind of as a glitter. Bear with me for a second here. I'm going to take a, just a very flat brush. This is like 95 years old. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Mac Fix Plus and I'm gonna spray this baby. Spray her down. And then I'm just gonna tap her on here. Tap her onto my eyelid. I just tapped her on there. Just keep putting it on there until you've reached your desired glowiness. I really like this because I feel like sometimes glitter, okay, I never quote me saying this, but sometimes glitter can be a little much for a look. And if you want it to just be kind of like, um, I'm shiny, but I'm not so glowy or I'm not so glittery, this is the thing you want. 
So yeah. Okay. So back with this dreaded pencil brush again and a little bit more factory and mug shot. I'm just going to go back in and clean this line up one more time. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend her out again with the Morphe brush that I've been using this whole time. Okay, so then I'm going to be taking a little bit of Ice Cold by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's one of his Skin Frost highlighters. If you don't know what this is, then you're actually nuts. Just kidding, you're not that nuts. Um, and I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and just dab that into my eye because I need something more blinding than the color I have on my current lid. And then I'm going to take this little baby brush. You can also take your finger if you want to. And I'm going to put this on my brow bone. I like to sing things, okay? Sue me, peeps. Heck yeah! Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so next for, why did I close that? I always close that thing. Okay, so next for eyeliner, I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. Professionals Liquid Liner. And I'm just going to be drawing my eyeliner. I will be right back. There's a video coming soon, by the way, of my eyeliner tutorial. Yeah, okay, I'll be right back. All right, so now that I did this little cat eye, I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Infallible, Vol wait, no, my L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in brown, brown. And I'm gonna do my tight line. Okay, and I'm gonna just draw it. Along my lower lash line. Okay, so this eyeliner is actually very, very blendable. So sometimes I'll just even like use my finger and blend it out. But today I'm gonna use a little bit of color down there. I'm gonna take some of this. It's called Trick. It's in the Naked 3 palette. It's the gold shade. And I'm going to take my definer brush by BH Cosmetics. I like have hit pan with this, so. I'm just gonna smoke that out. Okay. So then the last thing that I'm gonna do is curl my lashes and then put on my mascara. I use my literal my favorite right now, the All May Get Up and Grow mascara. Okay, and since I am not going to pair any falsies with this look because I don't know, I just don't like to wear falsies all that much. They hurt your eyes, you're like, ugh, just get these things off of me, and they make your eyelashes start to go down, and mine are like, very like, ding, to begin with, so I'm just really scared of that. So I'm gonna put another coat of mascara on. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more cut creases on my channel. Please leave me any comments down below of any future videos that you want to see. And all of the products that I have used in this video will be listed in my description box. I really hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and happy springtime. Bye!